everybody, it's Sherry Moulton back again with another video. After playing um, the other day with my um, Tri-Art Liquid Glass Pouring Medium, I was so impressed with how it turned out. So this was the finished product. So I'm going to try to do another one. And um, I'm going to use copper on the bottom, like a golden metallic. So I am using the Try Out Liquid Glass pouring, uh, pouring Medium. I have flooded my wooden 8x10 canvas I got from Michael's. I primed it first with gesso and then now I've just flooded it with the liquid glass um, pouring medium white and I have mixed in my little shot glasses a pea size and I fill them halfway so a pea size of paint goes a long long way and I'll quickly go through the colors with that I've used here so we have the Napathel red medium and it's by Triart Triart um, ultramarine blue classic Triart primary yellow try out a little uh, phthalo turquoise light and I have also got my Liquitex heavy body that Q magenta hopefully you can read it because surely you know I can't pronounce it and then just for a little bit of a bling I decided to put my deco art dazzling metallic worn penny so as I did before I'm gonna pour on the bottom and we're going to drag through the color with some yarn. So that's kind of pretty, eh? It's crossed between a gold and copper. So I'm going to pour on the end. And I'm going to get it so hopefully it's not so deep because it's spread. Let's see how it goes. And as it's doing that, I'm going to pop the bubbles that I can see because I just mixed this too, so I probably should have let it sit. But I already had my canvas flooded, and because you only got so much working time, I'm going to tilt it down. Pour just a tad more. No, I got white in between. Oh well. All right, let's see. We'll tilt it a bit more. There we go. Oh, that's cool how it's dissipated a bit in there. All right, so I have, I just love that blue turned out so pretty in that. So that's with further ado. And what I was doing is, I'm just gonna set that there. Just taking my yarn, folding it in half, taking the stick, putting it into the yarn, if you can see that, and then just running it in so it uh, soaks up. Now I have to hurry because this has been mixed up for a little bit. I don't want it to go all funny. Open it up. Ah, there we go. And we're going to go dead center with this one and drag it through and see what it does. And let's do this. Aha, that's actually not bad. Now I'm gonna try 
turquoise. Same thing, I'm just dunking. I know it's off camera, I'm sorry. I just find I'd be afraid of uh, knocking it off up there. Pull it apart, get that U. And let's go over here, bring in some of that copper. that again. It is such a pretty color these things are. And uh, there we go. Save. <laughs> oh, this one might be different. The coppers come up in the middle. Just run it off. Actually, that's pretty. Put it back in the yellow. And that, sorry, my brain said yellow, but I was putting it in turquoise. <laughs> now the magenta. Yeah, it's starting to thicken up here. We'll have to move quickly. So, good for you guys. It's going to be a quick video. <laughs> All right, separate, let's paint, there we go, or whatever you wanna call it. Let's just start right over here on top of the turquoise. And go up and around and off. do that again because that is such a vibrant pretty pretty color oh, my stir stick is stuck yeah this is getting to the point where it's da, 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 da. through round crossover and there we go Alrighty. I've lost my strings. Oh, they fell on the floor. Oh my gosh. Alright, yellow. <clears throat> here, let's get up here. Let's get this. Alright. Part. Shittle. Shake, shake, shake. And here we go. I think it's nice that it gets that blows or picks up blows picks up the copper when you do it as a U shape which is pretty kind of cool all right let's do another I've got a string hanging all right Another blue. Oh, shootles, I lost the whole end, and so we're just going to do mm, it's going to be messy, but we're going to do what we can do. Let's go right here. I'm hoping you can see because oh, I might have made a mistake with that one, but anyway, yeah, starting to mud. I think we're good. I'm gonna try and bring it down. 
Let's see. Tilt it down a bit and see if it'll... Almost looks like a multicolored tree trunk. Kind of cool. There we go. Oh, this thing here upset me. That's not good. Pretty neat. I put some more in, but I don't want to... Pardon my head. I just don't want to... It's all muddy, eh? Once you start running through the colors more than once. And I'm going to hit with just a little bit of the rubbing alcohol down here. I don't, oh, you can see. Awesome. Okay. A couple of squirts. I'm just going to see if it does anything down there. takes a minute for it all to come up, but pretty impressed. That's kind of nice. The colors, that's the one nice thing with the paints. Uh, they're so, the colors will uh, stay true, because that's pretty darn close, eh? Maybe I should swirl a little bit more. Oh gosh. Decisions, eh? That's funny. I poured spray down here, but it almost looks like it all went up there. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to try and do. Well, I should not play. Uh, this is my thing I say all the time. Is some things are best left alone. But you can't learn without playing, right? Well, I... I got some more turquoise. And I think that's what I did on the other ones. I came down from the top. Let's go this way. Off the canvas. And bring it down. Hmm. I said, hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see if we can do this here. Maybe this will help a bit. Pardon my head again. That's not bad. Give it a little wispy. A little bit of wispy. Flip it. I'm so sorry, I got my straw in my mouth. I'm gonna flip it this way and try and see if I can wisp out some of the edges on this one.
Mm -hmm. This one, oh, it's so pretty. You can really see the, the shininess in the uh, copper penny, is that what it's called? A Warren penny? You can see it's starting to set. I don't have much time here. I like the idea with the where it's just edges to get that wispy in there. That's pretty. All right. Oh my goodness! Look at we have a heart. Isn't that cool? I heart you. <laughs> so I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. I'm. That's weird that I sprayed the alcohol down here and absolutely nothing come up. Very neat. Well, I'm going to let it sit because when it sits, it does some wonderful things as well. So, not too bad. Maybe I'll just, I'm going to try and blow a little bit more in here, maybe. And Just so it's not so stark. Pretty cool. Well, there you go. So with that, I'm going to leave it. I'll bring it up and show you. And then, um, that's kind of cool. I don't know if you can see the little heart right here. That's pretty neat. You can see the the shininess of the penny copper a Warren penny I guess it's called well there you go thank you for watching my video um, if you're not yet subscribed please hit the subscribe button and hit that lovely little bell so next time I put a video up you can get notifications well I hope you guys have a wonderful Friday and I'll talk to you later bye Hi, I just wanted to show you this is actually kind of cute. I took what was left in my little cups and did like a a pour and that turned out pretty neat. It's just on a little wee canvas board. It might warp but I just thought instead of wasting it, pretty neat. And I'm going to show you, oh, if I get my fingers in there, oh my goodness that when you can see the copper through. Let me just, I'm going to spray with the alcohol and see what happens. And then maybe you can see what I've been saying. Oh, there you go. That's cool. Almost looks galaxy like. Give it a second. Look at all that comes up. So, that's what I was saying with the, in the other two things, a little bit goes a long way. I think I had it thick, that's why it didn't uh, show up so much. But anyways, well there you go. I'll uh, give you a photo or a little video and show you what they look like dry. Have a great day, bye.